The disruption to agriculture means more failed states, means ref climate refugees, rising sea levels mean climate refugees. You think what four million Syrian refugees has done to Europe? What about 40 or 400 million? There have been a considerable number of hurricanes, just not the one in Houston, the one in Florida, the one in Puerto Rico. We've had in the Houston area three back-to-back -back years where they were quoted as floods that occur once in every 500 years, except three years in a row. And yet, in the United States, the words climate change, for example, among farmers is taboo. In the fishermen in the uh, eastern part of the United States the ones in the Carolinas, they have to go further north to get the fish because colder water has more oxygen, more nutrients. So I have much more diesel fuel to go north to get the fish to come back, and yet they don't want to talk about climate change, but it's affecting their lives. This is because this has been politicized. It's considered a dirty political word. To them, it means if you believe in this, then there might be government regulations to tell you what you should and should not do, and no farmer or fisherman ever born to be told by a government what to do. I think they haven't been good in communicating how serious it is, but at some point, no matter how articulate the scientist is, it won't matter. There are going to be a class of people, no matter what, their prior feelings about something are so ingrained, no additional evidence is gonna convince them to change their mind. So what one has to do is say, all right, let's not talk about that. Let's talk about how you'd want cleaner air and cheaper energy. I'm gonna be optimistic because scientists by nature are optimistic. They're trying to do things that other people couldn't do before, that are generally regarded as impossible. In the end, actually, humans have to figure this one out.